Depending on the dictionary version, a photo of Angelo Mosca appears under the word tough. The origins of his infamous mean streak can be dated to a high school coach who demanded it. He used to hold the dummy and he had his fist along the side and he boom, pop you in the nose. And when the blood come up, that was the thing that he loved to see. If we ever did that today, I think you'd wind up in jail. Mosca garnered plenty of attention from colleges, eventually settling on the Fighting Irish. He had 60 scholarship offers and went to wind up going to the University of Notre Dame. At that time, it was the school, the school to go to. Following Notre Dame, Mosca followed departed Philadelphia Eagles coach Jim Trimble to Hamilton. The Ticats were the defending Grey Cup champs, but Big Ange learned quickly what it would take to make the team. I finally figured it out that they're only going to keep 11 Americans, and there was about 25 of us in camp. So I blew offside, and the, one of the players said to me, uh, hey, you are offside. I said, tell my daughter that. Uh, tell my daughter I'm offside. I, I was going to make that football team. Mosca was the only American rookie to crack the lineup, but after two seasons with the Ticats, he was traded to Ottawa and eventually Montreal. In 1962, he returned. Hamilton was a blue-collar town, and Mosca was the poster boy. I was tailor-made for this city. I knew the North End when I first got here. I knew every bootlegger in town, every crap game, every poker game. This was a reminded me of the North End of Boston. Very, very homey to me. Teamed with John Barrow, the Ticats defensive line was a formidable force. Mosca began playing his best football. I played very physical and very tough, and uh, the head slap was still in, the elbow, clothesline. I was the real, I, I took advantage of every situation that was going physically. And a lot of guys didn't like the way I played, but I was doing everything that was legal. Ange was a CFL All-Star in 1963, but he will be forever associated with his infamous hit on BC Lions running back Willie Fleming in that year's Grey Cup. What I did to him was, it was one of those bang-bang plays. He was coming up the sideline like this, and here I come. I went over the top of him, caught the back of his head, and it, it uh, knocked him out cold. The Ticats won the Grey Cup, and Mosca's reputation as the meanest player grew. 48 years later, a CFL alumni luncheon proved it was still hard for some to forget Angelo's playing style. That viral video rekindled his international celebrity, something that began at the height of his CFL career. Companies capitalized on his tough but endearing personality. He was featured in countless ads and next to Pierre Trudeau was the most recognizable person in the country. On the gridiron, the Ticats dominated the 60s, appearing in six Grey Cups, winning three of them. By 1972, Angelo decided it would be his final year, and he couldn't have scripted it any better. His final CFL game would be the Grey Cup in Iverwind Stadium. Couldn't ask for a better day. I'll never forget the, with doing the warm-ups, and I looked down the end of the field, and over the door was thanks and goodbye, Angelo kind of touched my heart a little bit and some great memories. The game came down to the wire. Ian Sunter kicked the game-winning field goal with no time left on the clock. Mosca retired a champion. I want to thank all of Canada for giving me the opportunity in this country. I love the Hamilton fans and I sure appreciate it. But it was a good ending to a pretty good career. Following football, Angelo took his reputation for being the meanest football player and applied it to wrestling. It was a natural fit. It is King Kong Mosca. King Kong Mosca. He is big, mean, and rough. Angelo Mosca was a tough player, but players like Angelo Mosca are tough to come by. My wife says to me, can they get any more dinners for you? I said, no, not really. I'm just very fortunate that, that uh, these things happen. The Hamilton Sports Hall of Fame welcomes Angelo Mosca.